I am Chef Jesus Cibrian, and this is Project Taste Test. I was five years old, I always wanted to be a chef. And somebody asked me, what do you want to do? I said, I want to be a chef. They laughed for me, but here I am. I basically start my normal schooling, grammar school, junior high, high school. When I was ready to start my professional career, I decided to go to a professional cooking school. I went in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, to a school for restaurant and hotel administration. And I came to the state back in the 80s to go to a professional cooking school in San Francisco. The day that I graduated, the executive chef from the school pulled me to the side and said, I got the job that you wanted. Man, that was excitement right there. So I started traveling. I mean, in a cruise ship line, I went to 40 countries back into the 80s. And every single stop along the way, I tried to pretty much ask as many questions as the local people. Where do you eat? What do you guys really consider your staple item over here? I remember the first day that I was here, I was so excited. I said, man, it's a gorgeous stadium one of the newest stadiums obviously in the league and it just uh, it's been a tremendous experience I mean to be able to establish ourselves some great food into this stadium that that is great I'm really excited to be able to translate from that 10 or 20 people meals into thousands of people 60 70,000 people really that's the part that is pretty excited to us people ask me are you an executive chef and I say, you know what I consider myself more like a food orchestrator we orchestrate food we pretty much, you know, administer the food, we administer the resources, we try to get the best possible meal in front of the guests when they are here. At Center Plate, we serve over a hundred million meals a year. That's a lot of meals to be served. There's a lot of food involved into that thing. We try to store locally as much of the food as possible. It's a lot more convenient for us. People will recognize the flavor, will recognize the items, will identify better with their food. So we are very pleased to say that, yes, we always aiming to kind of actually source our food at the local level. We always looking for people that are willing to go the extra mile. They are having a great attitude. They are always on time, ready to go. They are flexible enough to do multiple things. Opportunities, there are plenty. You have to start somewhere. Education is a great way to start. Educate yourself. And start working if it's possible, you know, those days on hours, do whatever you have to do to get involved into the field. But there are plenty of opportunities to get a job somewhere, learn from great chefs, execute them before you know you are there. You really, really have to love what you do. So number one, make up your mind. This is what I want and go for it. Do anything you have to do yourself. Educate yourself is a great tool to start with. Donate some of your time to some restaurant. You know, just search around where you are or go and search for those things that you're looking for. Never stop, just keep driving that bus for what you want. This job every day is a new day. People throw a challenge in us all the time. So we have to be innovative. We have to research, we have to develop, we have to create. We're an artist. That's the culinary arts. We are creatives. 